NASA's reconnaissance orbiter has just made a groundbreaking discovery. Aliens. JK. It discovered a gigantic pit that's hundreds of meters across and surrounded by frozen carbon dioxide. Even though there are scientific explanations for it, the artificial looking features of this hole are making researchers wonder what its origin is. Impact crater or proof of alien activity? I'm going to break it down for you here on IO. Yo space potatoes, my name is Charlotte and this is Inform Overload. The reconnaissance orbiter has been monitoring Mars's surface for 11 years. You would think after a decade we would be pretty familiar with the surface of Mars, but the fact is, we aren't. The orbiter took a picture of a giant depression located on the planet's south pole. That's very different from the Swiss cheese terrain that's a characteristic of Mars. For starters, it's completely circular, which makes it look almost, dare I say it, artificial. NASA is not sure as to exactly what this hole is or how it was made. But here's what they said in a statement. This pattern is created when there's relatively high, smooth material that is broken up into these circular shaped depressions, forming the Swiss cheese terrain. There are lots of possible explanations for holes on Mars. They could be the result of a meteorite impact, collapsing lava tubes, or ancient floods. NASA also said that it could have been caused by sublimation, which is a process where material gets transformed from a solid to a gas. But then again, this crater looks nothing like the rest of the craters and holes on the surface of Mars. Maybe, perhaps. Perhaps it was once a lake, but that means that this big hole could be the best place for life to thrive on Mars, if there is any. UFO YouTube channel Secure Team 10 shared an alternative theory where some believe that these holes could be entrances to an underground civilization. Well, I don't know about that, but I do know that it's time to respond to some comments. 1 million TRS said, At least you did some cool research, much better than other news entertainment channels. Well, hey, thanks. I do research. I think on average I read like 20 news articles a day. Somewhere around there. Candon's Burke Halter said, Charlotte, you are a sweet potato. I am a hash brown. Am I the only one who dips french fries in my milkshake? No, I definitely do that as well, especially Wendy's Frosties and their fries. So good. Daniel said, roses are red, violets are blue, but really it's violet, so it's not freaking true. Whoa, you just blew my mind, Daniel. Thank you so much for watching IO. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to IO for all your daily news, and I'll see you in the next video.